What's up everyone? Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I guess today is not going to be a little bit of time, it's going to be a lot of time because I'm going to be solving AMC 12 exam live for you guys, non-stop. So first of all, what is AMC 12? AMC 12 is a math exam that is designed for high school students to take. It's going to be 25 problems, 75 minutes. It is the first series of exam that lead up to International Mathematical Olympiad whereas top 6 students from each country come together and compete on one exam together. Right, so since this is going to be the first series of the exams, so this should be adequately challenging but shouldn't be too hard for me to solve. But you never know, I might have a bad day and I, and I might screw up everything. Right, so I have printed this exam out, so it's going to be 2019 AMC 12 problem version A. While I'm solving the problem, I'll put the exam problem right here so you can solve along with me. I also put the timestamp on each problem where I start each problem in the description down below. So please check that out. And of course, I'm going to be solving as fast as possible. So hopefully I don't need all 75 minutes, but you never know. All right. So without further ado, let's start in three, two, one, go. All right. So the first problem is say the area of the pizza with greatest four inches is 10% larger than the area of pizza with greatest three inches. All right, so four inches. All right, so um, equal to seven pi over is seven over seven over nine. E eight. So number one, the answer is E. Let me get ten so I can. All right, first problem only really took longer than I thought. A is one one fifty percent of B. What is the percent of B? A equal to one over three B is 1%, 50%. So the answer is A. Find number 3. Box on 10. 28 red balls. If I to 10, color will be drawn. Alright, so we want 15 balls. Alright, so the key to do this problem is we can pick all of this. I portion of this guy. In time 3 is 9. So 14 times 3 is 52. 20. Um, do we have 85 here? No. Let's go down. Times 3. And plus 1, of course. Right? So if we select all of this, we need one more. So 42 here. Plus 30. And one raise of any mistake. 86. That's 20. Five, seven, six. Okay, seventy-six. Okay, thanks God I first. So it should be twenty-six. What is the greatest number? A plus A plus one plus A, which is A R times R plus one over two. Gosh, why is this one so hard? Shouldn't be too hard for me to solve. Alright, so I guess I probably have to do guess in this case. So 0, 44, you add 45 at the end. So at the end, we have 45, 44 numbers. This is one. In total, we have 90 numbers. The question is whether or not 120 is possible. I would guess not, but how do you know for sure? Yeah, so I don't have good reason why 120 doesn't work, but I would go for D because we need to move on to the next one. Two line of slope half and like this. So this is x plus y equals to 10. It's plus 1. So for this two point x equal to 4. In this case, x is 6. The area of the triangle is just a cross product of these two vectors. 4, 6 is 2, 4. Cross 4, 2, 0. Well, so the answer is 6. How many of the following four kind rigid motion transform? Um, so some rotation, so that's one. Some translation, so two, yes. If you parallel, um, then good. Reflection across L. Reflection is no good. And for some reflection, of no good. Um, so just two. So, so, it's, so it's getting easier. So hopefully we can finish this in time. So one, so we have 
So I'll do right, so we can compute the first 14.5. So definitely gonna be less than less than the oh but 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 wait 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 wait. So I guess the median is actually more than 14.5. Alright, so that took so much time already, so let's just guess again. So the one that has median in the middle is is D. So let's let's just go with it then I guess. Set of four distinct lines in the plane, they are exactly in okay, so we have four lines and inter an intersection basically. So we just come down to um, how to draw the picture. So I think we should go for maximum and verify that every number less than that maximum is possible. Alright, so what is the maximum? Maximum would be something like this. All four lines are not parallel and no three intersect at one point. So six points. Is five points possible? Of course, we can just do one, one, three, four, five. Four points possible, we just do a pair. Three points possible. And then you can do like this by same trick, two points also possible, I think. Ooh, this two point possible is two point possible? Oh, it does. It is. It is possible. So go like this, two points. And one point you have like one, two. So the answer would be one plus two plus three plus four plus one plus six, which is twenty-one. Okay, the answer is E twenty-one. Okay, we have forty-three minutes left and we have still have a lot of problems to go. A1 equal to 1, A2 equal to 3 over 7, AN equal to... I think I know the trick to this one. Okay, so you look at 1 over AN, right? So let DN equal to 1 over AN to AN minus 2 minus A, which is 2BN minus AN. This has characteristic equation x squared minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0, BN equal to A times 1 to the N, N times B something like this. So 1 equal to b1, so a plus b, 7 over 3 equal to a plus 2b, and b equal to 4 over 3, a equal to minus 1 third, bn equal to... Alright, so we get 8,075 over 3, so 8,077, 78 is an answer, but let's check and the answer is this guy. Alright, e. okay, it actually feels good to um, able to solve actual problem. Okay, so how on earth can we figure out the uh, area of this guy? If this is too far. <laughs> Alright, so I do not know how to do this one. Be challenging, but shouldn't be too hard for me to solve. Um, and I hit geometry, so I just can guess D for no reason. And let's just move on to the next one. Okay, so for some for C integer k, repeating base k representation of the base 0 0.23323 is 7k square n, right? So in base 10, you multiply by 10 to move it up. Is you multiply by k, move it up. So plus n, 2k square divided by 5 by 7. <sighs> Guys, I don't think I know what to solve this one. Oh, okay. So 23 base k is 2k plus 3. Seven equal to zero. The root has to divide one sixty somehow, and so the answer needs to be sixteen. Okay, we have twenty eight minutes left, and we have like we don't even have it there. So, what's the real number? If not equal to one, we have one. All right, so let's transform this guy into what? Y. First solution: x equal to Let's go down here. Let's, I think I picked the other solution now. Right, so we want this guy square. So we square it. So we get log base 2 of k squared plus log base 2 of the product. Right, this problem is actually pretty cool. This one is actually pretty cool. So what do we know? Um, sum of the log base 2 is 6. We 
equal to 4. And if you do plus, so if you want to minus, you minus 4 the product. And so that would give you 6 squared, which is 20. And the answer should be B. Yeah, oh, I love this problem already. How many pages to pin each of the integer? Two, five, seven. So seven can be anything. Three and six cannot have the same color. And this guy cannot have the same color. Alright, so this guy has to be choices, but it has to be different. So we can do three, three to the four times two to the three. That's too much. Oh, this is something wrong. Six and two. Oh, six and two. Six and two. Three cube times one, two, three, four, two to the four. Four thirty two. Or so here's some for example, see the polynomial has exactly four distinct roots. Plus one, so x plus so this is this is one by one minus nine. So this is four, this is eight, so I'm confused. So this pair work. So what is C you see you just be the sum equal to three minus nine, nine plus one, which is square root ten E. Root log A, root log B, and log of root A, log root B, etc. You add them all together, you get hundred. So we can have A equal to ten, ten to the four. So we can have four, we can have minus one, maybe sixteen square root plus one times four. This is four plus sixteen is twelve. This is um, ten plus fifty is sixty. Okay, we have this pair. A times B would be D. Each row you want to see odd, 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 or odd, even, even. Can go e e e e like this. Actually, that's all. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty nice. We pick two row to have e. We pick two column to have e e e e e like this. E and o in there. Two, so three, two, four. So the answer is b. The number seventeen. You, okay. Ah. Oh. It's over. All right, so let's actually try to finish this problem because I think it's really cool. All right, so so let's call this guy real fast. So in conclusion, what do we have? In conclusion, we have sk plus one equal to a plus b plus c. So let's see if we get if we get um something nice. So get minus three plus thirteen, and so it should be d ten. All right, so so I just sum up the score. And let me tell you how I did on the on this exam, okay? Let me first tell you how the score system works for AMC 12. So for each problem you got it correctly, you got six points. For each problem you got it incorrectly, you get zero points. And for each problem that you left it blank, you get 1.5 points. For this particular exam, in order to qualify for the next round, which is AIME, um, you need 84 points, which make you top 5%. And I got 12 problem correctly, 4 problem incorrectly, and 9 blanks. So that's sum up to 85.5. So barely make it to the next round. Literally, if I got one more problem incorrect, then I'll not make it to the next round. There you have it. I can do high school math exam all right so i guess that's all for today if you have any question or any request what video you want me to do next please leave comment down below for today thank you for watching peace